Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video we are going to do an FAQ on the Nokia 7 Plus. So Nokia 7 Plus is a recently announced mid-range device. Uh, it was first announced at the Mobile World Congress 2018 and uh, now it is announced in India and it will go on sale uh, in India pretty soon. And this device uh, comes with really good hardware for the pricing it is being offered at. So the device is priced 25 to plan and available on Amazon. And uh, this device comes with uh, uh, the latest hardware, a uh, dual camera setup, Snapdragon 660, 4GB RAM, 64GB storage. So it's a good uh, device in terms of the hardware. So now let's do an FAQ on this device uh, covering all the aspects and uh, the frequently asked questions on the device. So let's get started. First up, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So uh, looking at the sensors app, uh, we can see that it comes with all the sensors included, accelerometer, magnetic sensor, uh, orientation sensor, gyroscope, light, proximity and all the sensors are included uh, which uh, you would expect on a mid-range smartphone. So that's the sensor information. Now next up, let's talk about the display. So the device comes with 6 inch full HD plus resolution display, the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio and uh, the display quality is really impressive on this device. It's a premium uh, device uh, uh, from Nokia and uh, the display quality is again re really good. The colors are vivid, the touch response is extremely smooth and the overall quality of the display is impressive. And not only that, the device also comes with Gorilla Glass support. So you don't have to worry about minor scratches happening. So Gorilla Glass is included as a display protection on this uh, bright 6 inch Full HD plus resolution display. Now next step, let's talk about the SIM card. So we'll just uh, take out the SIM slot and show you uh, the SIM card uh, slot. So there you go. So it comes up with uh, a hybrid slot. It has a uh, uh, two SIM card slot and uh, either you can use one SIM card and an SD card or two SIM cards. So it's a hybrid SIM card slot on the Nokia 7 Plus. Now talking about the Volti support, as this device comes with Volti out of the box, you can use uh, your Vol Geo SIM card or Airtel SIM card with Volti without any sort of issues. Now the storage options, uh, we have the 64GB variant, so it comes with only one variant of the 64GB storage and 4GB RAM. So you get plenty of storage and in case you want to expand, you get uh, the hybrid SIM card slot as well. Now next up the fingerprint scanner. So the fingerprint scanner is rear mounted and it's quite accurate fingerprint scanner and it does a, a pretty good job in unlocking the device. It may not be the fastest out there in terms of the performance like the Oppo F7 or Vivo V9 but it's more or less accurate and uh, does the job pretty well. Now talking about the software. So this device is under the Android One platform. So uh, you get the latest updates directly from uh, Google and uh, you can see that this device comes with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box and so the updates are provided by uh, Google and you can see the Android One logo at the back of the device. So, so you'll be getting at least two major updates uh, after Oreo on this device. So that's one of the highlights of this device and it has this stock UI and uh, you you see the ui which is quite similar on the google pixel devices since this is again an android one platform now talking about the processor so this device is uh, powered by the snapdragon 660 octa core chipset with 4 gigabyte ram the snapdragon 660 is a really powerful mid-range chipset you can see the benchmark score is really high and uh, it's it's a really performing chipset uh, without any sort of issues and uh, great experience overall the gaming experience also was really smooth we have done a detailed video on the gaming test you can also check out that video to see how good the performance is uh, overall we are really satisfied with the performance offered by the snapdragon 660 on the nokia 7 plus now next up, the battery. So the phone comes with a 3800 mAh capacity battery and there is fast charging included. Uh, when we did the unboxing, we showed you the fast charger which is bundled with a box pack. So there is fast charging out of the box and uh, you can get almost uh, like uh, seven and a half hours of screen on time on an average with this device since it has stock Android, the battery performance is pretty good. And even with the larger display, uh, the battery performance is pretty good on this device and you can get around seven and a half hours of screen on time. So that's the battery performance of the uh, uh, Nokia 7 Plus. Now let's talk about the speaker performance. So let, we'll just play an audio video file uh, from our channel and uh, to show you how good the performance is. So you can see that the speaker is adequately loud enough and the clarity is also pretty good on the Nokia 7 Plus. Now next step, 
LED notification. So that's one uh, thing which is missing on this device. Th this device just not come with any sort of LED notification light. And instead, what it does is it has this. Uh, we'll just show you that option under the display settings. Uh, if you go to advanced, you can see the ambient uh, display. So whenever you get any uh, new notification, it wakes up the screen uh, uh, to show the notification. And whenever you leave the phone, uh, you get to see the, all those notifications. So there is no LED uh, notification light included, but it has this ambient display. Now next up let's talk about the USB OTG functionality. So this device comes with the USB Type-C port. Uh, so this is the Type-C cable, I mean the Type-C port and uh, we have a USB Type-C cable uh, which is connected to a pen drive. So let's see if this supports uh, OTG out of the box. So we'll just connect this uh, pen with the pen drive and uh, let's see if there is a uh, usb otg functionality and uh, here you can see that uh, the sandisk uh, usb drive is uh, connected and uh, that has been detected here so there is o usb otg out of the box on this device so you need to use a uh, usb type c cable to uh, uh, access uh, pen drives or other computer peripherals so that's the only uh, difference uh, we have here now uh, this device also comes with nfc support uh, so in case you want to do nfc uh, based payments uh, there is nfc support on this device now talking about the camera so we have a 16 megapixel uh, front facing camera uh, that's a pretty good selfie camera and we also done a detailed camera review of this device so you can also check out that video and on the rear panel we have a dual camera setup we have a, a primary 12 megapixel camera and a secondary 13 megapixel uh, camera with 2x optical zoom and we have a dual tone dual led flash as well so the highlight of this device is that it comes uh, with uh, uh, lenses from zeiss optics so that's one of the highlights of this device and the camera performance is pretty good uh, for this price segment and we don't have anything to complain in terms of the camera department and also there is 4k resolution support and there is eia support in the 1080p resolution so that's the camera aspect now the device is priced 25 triple nine and this will be amazon exclusive so you can buy it starting april 30th so this device will go on sale on amazon on 30th of april so that's in couple of days time so the device is a pretty good mid-range device in this price segment and comes with good hardware as well so that was the detailed FAQ on the Nokia 7 Plus. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. In case you plan to buy this device, we'll share the link in the description of this video. So this is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.